guys, welcome back to the channel. Ken Roy here. And today I've decided to brave the elements and come outside in the garden. Yes, we are well and truly in autumn, guys. I'm taking a look at all my beautiful plants, which have now been reduced to almost nothing <laughs> as the weather has definitely taken a turn for the worse. Um, we had a few weeks of really really cold weather and to the point where we had minus degrees minus temperatures in the garden and we had frost and frozen standing water just to show you how cold it's been and we've got some of our runner beans here which um, honestly we had so many on the plant this year as you can see but unfortunately um, time's run out for them i wanted to leave these ones on the vine to fully mature like this um, and basically to dry out so that we could store them um, better over winter but like I said um, the weather um, has really come on thick and fast as I was hoping for most of them to get to this stage um, where inside will be lurking a beautiful see if I can open this pod there you go so a beautiful um, gorgeous colored bean and these are what the runner beans look like when they're fully mature absolutely stunning but like I mentioned let's just say that winter is fast approaching guys so today Sunday afternoon I'm gonna be um, harvesting and getting rid of all of the crop that has been damaged sadly by the cold I mean these are some gorgeous tomatoes which um, to be fair I could have harvested more of them but we had so many indoors and the fact of the matter that the weather has been so unpredictably cold um, yeah I've just been a bit MIA on top of that I've been busy with work traveling so yeah the garden has been left on the back burner unfortunately um, but now I'm going to use this time today to quickly tidy up some of the mess the carnage that has happened after I've got some pumpkins to harvest I've got one there which I self pollinated and then we've got this big boy right here which is nicely nestled in but as you can see all the leaves from the pumpkins have literally um, wilted away drying up because of the cold because of the time of the year and so yeah it's high time I get these all harvested over here we've actually got some more tomatoes again you can see they've just been falling off like crazy because yeah the weather's just been absolutely chaotic um, and again more runner beans we've had a lot of strawberries um, being born guys which is quite unusual for this time of the year but the trouble is we've had so much slug damage it's just unreal they can't even ripen um, before the slug starts to eat them because it's so wet so cold perfect temperature for them um, by the time the strawberries ripen they are absolutely demolished so I've resorted into trying to see whether or not these little netting bags will actually make a difference now these ones on the outside here seem to be going well but this is the issue that I'm finding is that even though we've got them in the nets guys look at this look at this little bugger on the outside of the net still managing to eat the strawberry through the net somehow I mean I absolutely just cannot stand these um, these slugs look at him I mean it's bright daylight and this guy is still chomping away because it's so cold it's so mild um, as you can probably hear there's a very very high breeze at the moment we've been getting loads of storms and this little guy along with all of his buddies just been eating our late crop of strawberries so unfortunately we've not been benefiting but yeah there's not much you can do there's loads of them dotted around strawberries um, you know starting to ripen but just can't get them fast enough guys so yeah that's what's been happening with the strawberries so today like I mentioned guys we're just going to be clearing up some of this I'm going to take you over here to have a look at the raised bed which is, of course is also died back and it's full time for me to uproot these corn and all of these um, sort of plants that have been in here we've got another pumpkin hiding away in here waiting for me to come and harvest it to get that into storage and yeah we're also going to remove these corn stalks which have been left standing in the greenhouse guys I'll quickly show you that uh, so much nicer warmer in here and um, we've still got some of our plants our uh, peppers miraculously are starting to do really well which always happens this time of the year as it gets cooler um, less heat 
um, here in the greenhouse surprisingly um, and you can see that we've got some peppers on the trees on the plants in the back here we've got a couple there again good size ones and that one's starting to blossom so this always happens um, sort of early autumn peppers are starting to kick into gear but then before you know it the cold weather is here and yeah game over so yeah that's what we're dealing with at the minute I've got my rhubarb there in a container which I propagated from my brother's house as our rhubarb plant actually got demolished last year so I'm hoping that we'll be able to uh, make it through the winter we're going to overwinter it here in the greenhouse before putting it in the ground in spring and this resilient tomato plant i mean look at this guy still trying to put on blossoms still trying to grow despite the fact that it collapsed on itself and look it's absolutely loaded with these beef tomatoes which i'm gonna harvest as well um, just been incredible and one thing that i've realized these chilies have been on the plant for absolute ages and one thing I realized is that they just keep going guys. Look at this. They haven't started to rot. They've just ripened and they're still solid on the plant. And if you look closely here, they're actually starting to flower again. Absolutely amazing. Now, I don't know whether or not I'll be able to overwinter this plant here in the greenhouse. That would be amazing. But yeah, it gets too cold I reckon out here in the greenhouse. So not really holding my breath on that um, to be honest. And finally over here, I want to show you um, our Torah. I mean, look at this plant, it's so beautiful. I mean, this would make a great house plant if it didn't get so cold and probably needs a lot more sunlight. Um, I've got the smaller one down here with multiple roots coming up there. Um, and then the larger one at the back, you can see, I mean, that is a, a good looking root right there. No idea how long these things take to mature, but I'm just literally just going along for the ride. Um, it's, it's probably around a meter or just under a meter in height the larger one so I'm really really chuffed with that uh, I'm gonna keep them in the greenhouse see how they fare over winter I mean I probably would have to take them indoors for them to survive um, but yeah that's for another day guys today I'm just going to be focusing on clearing some of the, um, the foliage from outside as you can see the tree started to um, fall all of its leaves and covering our lawn which yeah it's good and bad and as you can see the trees up there having a great old time the final thing that i want to show you guys in this little update is our chayotes now guys i thought i had lost all of my chayotes a few weeks ago when the garden was completely frozen over with those minus temperatures and i thought that's it um, no way am i going to be able to salvage any of the chayotes but um, if you look at these leaves here, you can see where they've been so burnt by the cold weather. They've literally gone crispy, guys. And um, I thought that was it. We had chayotes on the plant, but I'm pleased to say, have a look at these bad boys. Still fighting the good fight, still surviving somehow. I mean, we've had a few milder days, although they've been quite stormy. And we've got some beautiful looking chayotes hanging from our trellis that we made um, a few months ago guys and I'm really really chuffed it doesn't seem as if we're going to manage to make it to those double figures this year because of that snap cold were it not for that um, frosty weather I think we would have gone into the double figures easily but some of them have fallen off because of all the damage from the cold I'll get up close and show you guys what they look like I mean a couple of these could be harvested now guys but I'm just leaving them on the vine to get as big as possible you can see those infamous little spikes growing underneath um, these chayotes and in a week or two we should be able to harvest them but look it's still trying to put out blossoms uh, to grow new fruit so if the weather stays this mild now one can hope who knows you might be able to get some more and make it into that double figures which is what I was hoping for I can still see that looks like a bee or a wasp or something still pollinating which is absolutely amazing if you look right there guys no the camera's not focusing and look there's another little one there and there's also another one there and as you get closer you start to see that there's tons of these chayotes on this plant so yeah all is not lost and we're waiting to see whether or not we'll be able to harvest some more of their guys so I thought I'd give you an update. I'm gonna crack on now, guys, just because I'm limited on time, just to clear as much of these um, 
you know, these dead plants from in here as possible. I mean, we've got some carrots and stuff. Whatever I can harvest, I will be sure to harvest, guys. I mean, these have probably been eaten by all the insects, but whatever I can pull up and harvest, we'll do today because, like I said, the weather has not been kind. But yeah, I thought I'd give you guys a, a little look at what's been going on in the garden. Yeah, things have been a bit hectic, but yeah, we're still really, really grateful for all the harvest that we've had this year. Until the next time, guys, take care, God bless, and I'll see you on the other side.